In this class, we're going to use a piece of software called GitHub. Um, GitHub is a what's known as a version control system. Um, it's used to design software projects. Um, it can also be used for collaboration on software projects, which is part of the way we're going to use it. So GitHub, we're going to use um, for me to post projects for you to work on. You're going to grab the projects from GitHub, work on them on your local computer, and then put them back up to um, the GitHub site. And there's a way that you can do that so that when you're working on a project, you can actually put the project up on the GitHub site, um, request feedback for me, I can give feedback, and then you can go back and work on it some more on your own site, and then finally put the final version up onto GitHub. So the first thing I um, need you to do is go to github.com. Now when I go there, it automatically logs me in. Um, but I need you to um, get a login. So this is free. Um, so pick a username. Try to use part of your name in it. Um, with many students in the class, it's, it's hard to decipher some of the names that students might pick. So try to pick a username with your name in it um, and sign up for a GitHub account. And when you're done with that, then send it to me so that I can, um, there's some work I'm gonna have to do on my end to get you as a part of um, the class. So when you've made your GitHub account, then GitHub interacts with your computer through a piece of free software called Git. So if you just do a Google, Google search for Git, um, go to Git Downloads, and download the appropriate software for your computer. So mine's Windows. And I'll save it. And when it's done, Can run it now in my case I already have git um, installed on my computer so I am not going to go ahead and restall it reinstall it um, but go through the setup information and install git and then let's see we need to put GitHub on your machine. So GitHub and Git are, are different. Git is the um, design and um, software that runs underneath GitHub. Git is actually pretty hard to learn. Um, GitHub is a <laughs> more user-friendly version of that. You may disagree with, it, with that after you've used GitHub, but it is a more user-friendly version. So um, download GitHub which is separate for Git. So now you've got three separate steps you should have done by now. You get a GitHub account first, install Git on your machine, and now we're downloading GitHub. And I'm assuming at this point that you have a working version of PyCharm. Um, PyCharm is going to integrate with Git and GitHub. So that will work nicely. So download GitHub um, and get that installed. And again, you may have to put in your um, GitHub credentials that you created that GitHub account. And when you're done with that, you should have a little icon here for GitHub. There's also a Git shell that you can run, but that's where you use the command line version of Git. And again, that's harder to learn than just plain old GitHub. So I'm waiting for GitHub to boot up here. thought I saw it going. Now, what you'll see when mine comes up, because I've been using GitHub a lot, is I have a lot of what are called repositories. These repositories are all projects that um, I'm working on. But you can come over here and look at settings. And notice that I have my clone path set to 
users cook PyCharm projects. So, well, and then I have the CSCI 156. That you don't need so much. But on your computer, if you have PyCharm set up, then PyCharm projects is a folder that sits inside users, your username, PyCharm projects. And you probably want your clone path to be set there. Um, so go ahead and get that set up. Notice that I've got Git configured in here already. So I have my username and email address in there. Okay, so when you have then your account set up on GitHub, now this is a lot to do, but account set up on GitHub, and Git is installed. Then you install GitHub, which will automatically recognize where Git is and make use of that. We're going to go over to PyCharm now and integrate all that together. Wait for PyCharm to boot up. Oh, look at that. I can get a new version. Maybe we'll do that in a minute. Um, and I've been working on a, a video, or actually, yeah, a video for chapter 17. So if you go over to PyCharm and go to settings, Under settings, there's a drop down for version control. So if you look at just version control, um, you may see a list of projects in here. Get down to GitHub. Um, I actually have two accounts on GitHub. I have one for me as a professor, and then I have one as a student that I do as a practice. And right now, I'm running my practice account on PyCharm, but under version control GitHub, you should have your login and password. Oh, I did not want to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oops. Well, we're going to find out if I know the password for that student account. Because uh, I'm going to test it. Not successful. Excellent. I have no idea what that password is. So I guess... <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'll have to go figure that out. Um... And Git should be, if you're on a Windows system, uh, program files, Git under the binaries, get that the exact. So make sure that that is all set up correctly. And then you should be able to use um, PyCharm. Oh, maybe we can just cancel um, with GitHub. Okay, so just to review, and I know I didn't go through all the steps here, but to review... You want to make sure that you have an account on GitHub. You download and install Git. Download and install GitHub onto your machine. Make sure that your login information from GitHub is on, your login information from your account on GitHub is in that software. And then go to PyCharm, go to the settings version control, and make sure that you have your settings in there. And then PyCharm, your account settings from GitHub. And then PyCharm, if you have all that other stuff set up, will automatically integrate to GitHub and we'll be able to make this work. So that's a video just for getting things set up. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually use all this software together to download assignments, work on assignments, and um, get them graded.